In this video, we will discuss how to integrate try catch or exception handler to a program. We have four int variables for sizes and indices, and the Boolean variable repeat input. As you can see, we have the try catch statement inside the do while loop. We'll refer to it as do while try catch combo. The condition on while is while repeat input. The current value of repeat input is true. Let's go inside do. There's try catch. And inside it are the code for getting the size of the row. A condition that if row size is greater than one, the value of repeat input will be changed to false so the while loop won't iterate. That's just a validation for the size of the array. Because remember, we mustn't create an array with only one row, one column, or even with negative number of sizes. Inside the catch statement, this is where we will go if the input of the user is wrong. Say, the user input a character or string instead of a number. Program would print invalid input. And then we have this input is equal to new scanner system that in. We assign inputs again to a new scanner because there's an exception on the previous inputs. So we mustn't use that for the next user input. If we won't reassign inputs, a loop of enter row size, invalid input would appear continuously. An error. And that's it. The idea here is the same with menu navigation. In there, the navigation would repeat unless the user enter 3, which is exit. In here, the input part would repeat as long as the user enters the wrong input. Here on line 30, we just reassign repeat input to draw again for the next do while loop try catch combo. This do while try catch combo is for validating the column size. It has the same code structure as before. I just modified the variable names. We have also integrated this do while try catch combo in getting the elements of the array. We just remove the condition if row or column size is greater than one. And that's it.